What's up everybody? Welcome back to the LD World. In today's video, we're going to talk about our most favorite vacation, but worst Airbnb experience ever. Yeah. You didn't even experience it. It's, no, I didn't. Yeah, this is Don't my story time. Don't give away too much. No, I'm not. <laughs> This is my story time for you guys, and I'm going to kind of explain how I was the best boyfriend ever and protected Dua from one of the worst yeah. Airbnb experiences that I ever encountered. But you guys know what to do before we get started. Go ahead. I was ready with my thumb. Oh, no, I said starred. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, and let's get right into the story. Yeah. Before we start, I want to ask you. We already did before we start. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. No, hey, you're always throwing me off. I know, I know. I was gonna ask you, what is your? Oh my god, <clears throat> I have something in my throat. <coughs> did you get it? No, it just dried up like in ten seconds. Okay. Anyway, I was gonna ask you, what do you think about Airbnb in general? <laughs> there she is saying hi. I, I knew she was going to do that. Of course, because you have a strong opinion on Airbnb. It's because of this story right here. Not just this one. No, it's this story. This story completely, when I first did Airbnb, I loved it. I thought it was the best thing ever. I was like, oh, you know, the Uber of, well, not Uber, but you know the what I mean. Uber. Just kind of the whole style of thing. You know, you can just rent somebody's house. Yeah. But after this experience, I won't say never, but it, it's going to, we did Airbnb after this, but yeah, I don't even know how to explain it. I just don't like Airbnb. Yeah, I'm like 50-50 on it because I've had bad experiences too in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when I, in Noonan? Oh Guys, my gosh, be that Before was we bad. go into Lance's story, yeah, you tell your I want to say that I was at this Airbnb and I had been going to the bathroom probably like three, four times. And I didn't notice anything. And that's what makes me like, ugh, about the whole story. It's like- Was it me that told you about it? No, oh, I okay. saw it. Okay. So for like, for probably the fifth time I went to the bathroom, mm -hmm. because most of the time it was in like, when it was dark. So I wasn't really checking everything. And then in the middle of the day, I went in there and there were just ants. All over the place. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it was on the toilet. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. have been sitting on that toilet and I probably sat on an ant. That brings a whole we new meaning. We don't have ants in Iceland. <laughs> I'm not used to that thing. <laughs> that brings a whole new meaning to ants in your pants. And, oh my goodness. That I tried to say it earlier, but you interrupted me. <laughs> so I had to tell the joke twice. and then... No, that's when you don't tell it and you just move on. Yeah, but but anyway, good. that was my experience. It was horrible. But the thing about that... That Airbnb had high reviews. You took a picture of it and recorded videos and tried to post it on Airbnb to get your money back. Yeah. And she was saying something like, there there were no ants, you made it up or you brought ants in or yeah. something like that. Yeah, I brought ants. <laughs> I can see you doing that. I can see you <laughs> no. traveling across the Atlantic Ocean with a little pack of ants just to put inside the Airbnb. Nice where we don't have ants. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I actually got my money back but that's she good. tried to find me she did and that's just gonna kick off this whole airbnb yeah story so let me yeah. set the mood for you guys let me set the setting it was a year 2019 the season was fall slash winter and we planned a amazing vacation to new york city that was probably one of the most fun vacations we've ever had but yeah it's our favorite trip yeah so we we're planning we we're planning the trip and dua was located in spain or iceland uh, i think she I was overseas it. so she was meeting me in new york city and i was meeting her in new york city she took a separate flight everything before we got there i was planning out the trip i had a buddy that lived in new york and he was like hey you know really good friend of mine hey if you guys need a place to stay you can always shack with me and i was like no i got this i got a nice airbnb in newark I don't know how you said it, Newark, New York. Everybody has different set, different ways of saying it, but it wasn't in Manhattan. It was in New Newark, New Jersey, which obviously I didn't know anything about it. No, but the thing is I have been to New Jersey before and I've stayed there and it wasn't that bad. And that's why when you told me, I was like, oh, okay, fine. Very true. But whenever I told my friend where I was staying, he was like, oh, you got an Airbnb out there? I was like, yeah. And he was like, well, 
just in case you need a place to stay, just in case you need a place to stay, you know, let me know. And I was like, I got it taken care of. Yeah. That should have been a sign to me that I probably picked the wrong area. Anyways, let's fast forward a little bit. We take the flight. I land first before Dua does. I hop into a Uber and you know me, Chatty Lance, just want to chat and be friends with everybody. I'm chatting with the Uber. How you doing today, ma'am? How's your day? Like, oh, it's great, great. So where are we taking you? You know, we put in the address and she was like, oh, we're taking you to Newark. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So she's driving out there and she's like, you know, I've been on this side of town. It's kind of, I'm surprised you got an Airbnb. I was like, oh no, it's all good. The reviews were, the reviews were great. And she's like, okay. So as we're driving to the Airbnb, we're going through Newark and I start to see that, you know, the area was- A little sketchy. It was a little sketchy. <laughs> but you know, I'm like, hey, I got this. I'm not scared, whatever. The reviews are five stars. There was only one review that was bad. Only one that was bad. And that was probably because of the location. It was exactly because of the location. But I was like, oh, this must be this must be somebody who's just very, yeah. you know, in words of Love Island, posh. So we get there and the Uber driver's looking around and she's familiar with the area. So she's looking around and she's kind of like, and it's raining, it's raining and it's cold. It's just, it, it feels like a horror story. It feels like watching the movie uh, Barbarian. If nobody's seen it, I lived that experience. Yeah. So it felt like the movie Barbarian, it was rainy, it was cold. And she was like, so is, is this your Airbnb? I was like, I looked at it. It looked like a duplex type townhome. I looked at it, I was like, um, I'm not 100% sure, but this is where the address is. And she was like, well, go call your, she said, call your Airbnb host. I tried to call her, I couldn't get a hold of him. Tried to text him, couldn't get a hold of him. Obviously, because yes. probably, yeah. So I got the code and I was like, you know what, it's fine. You can go ahead. I'm just going to go type the code. And she said, no, I'm going to wait right here for you. <laughs> I was like, no, it's fine. I got this. She said, no, trust me. I'm going to wait right here for you. So I get out, go type in the code. The code wouldn't work. Then I look around and I kid you not, I will never forget this. I could have sworn that there was a trap house right across the street. I don't think what you know a trap house, house. like a drug dealing type house, everything. No. Something you like didn't I could have. I could have sworn. You left that out of this the story. reason why I say that is because it just looked like that. It just looked like that. It was people that had. It was just a very interesting situation. You never told me that. I go back into the Uber. Mm -hmm. She's like, you don't have to call. So you never got in. I never. I did get in. I did get in. Okay. But it took me a couple times. It was cold, so my hands were and it was raining. So I was trying to type in a call to act. Fast forward, I actually got into the Airbnb. Uber left. This is what she told me before she left. She said, if you don't like the place, call me directly and I'll come and get you. I said, once she again, knew she knew, wrong. she knew I should have, that was three warning signs. Mm -hmm. Once again, I was like, no ma'am, it's cool. I got this. Once I get inside, everything's gonna be cool. And she was like, all right, well you have my contact information. Let me know. I go inside, really nice place. Mm -hmm. It was clean really nice, but I didn't know, it didn't specify that I would be sharing with another person. So there was another guy in there. Really? Yeah, as soon as I walked in there, it smelled like straight weed. I didn't know where it was Wait, coming did from. Did you tell me this? I, I think don't I think did. So. This was back in 2019, so I don't remember. I remember <laughs> this experience, because I'll never forget it. But I remember really? the situation. So I walked in there, um, there was a guy we introduced, we introduced ourselves, very nice guy nothing against him, everything was clean, but I guess they wanted to save money so they didn't use no kind of heat. It was as cold as it is in this apartment right now, but Lance never lived through that before, so I wasn't I wasn't about to do it. The weed smell smelled so bad that I ended up getting a really, really bad headache. I got such a bad headache, it was a migraine. Then I tried to lay down, the, the, the bed was harder than this table that we are sitting at right now. It was cold. There was no place for me to charge my phone. I looked for a plug inside the room. I said, am I in a closet? Because there's no place to charge my phone. Was it electricity? Or... It was electricity. Yeah. And so I'm just sitting there, just like this, just looking around. I'm like, so I'm like, you know, let me just get the Wi-Fi code. Couldn't find it. There was a little mini fridge in the room. That was about it. I was like, you don't need a mini fridge. It's cold in here. And so at this point, I'm thinking, I have a headache. It's freezing cold in here. There's no possible way. I haven't seen Dua in a couple of months. There's no possible way I can let her stay in this Airbnb. It <laughs> okay. smells like straight weed. Like, I don't, I didn't know if it was coming from the vents 
don't know if it was coming from our roommate, but it smelled like straight weed in that apartment, my clothes, everything. I said, there's no possible way we could stay here. Not only that, the neighborhood wasn't safe. So trying to like yeah. travel from Manhattan to there, I didn't feel comfortable. So I, my phone had data. I ended up getting on my phone and trying to find a hotel yeah. that we could get to. Yeah. I text you, you didn't even land yet. I said, just call me when you <laughs> land. I'll give you directions, I'm getting a hotel. Ended up booking a hotel, didn't have the money for it, so I had to put it on my credit card, which was the best expense I've ever done yeah. in my life. I was like, well, put it on my credit card, I don't care. We ended up staying at a really nice hotel. Really nice. It had heating. It had yeah. morning breakfast. Yeah. We had our own room, bathroom. It actually was close to the airport, so we were able to take a shuttle to take us to the train station to right go into New York, York City. It was really nice. Yeah, so transportation was super easy. And from that point on, I made the decision that if at all possible, I'm, th I'm getting hotels. I'm getting hotels because I get my bed made every day, my room clean. Whether or not they clean it perfect, I don't care. At least they clean it. I get you a shuttle roommates. service, don't my have roommates. roommates, don't smell like weed when I get in there. I could turn up and down the heat. We get TV, yeah. everything was perfect. Perfect trip, everything worked Where out great. Where were you at when I landed? Were you already at the hotel? Yeah, oh. I evacuated. So, so you, I evacuated, I left quick. So the whole thing was blew over before I even landed. Cause I had, to, I had to make a decision right then and there. I was like, I had an hour to, <laughs> Get out of that Airbnb. Imagine, find a hotel. Imagine and if get I there. had landed first. Because I, 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 I was, I used to be the person who just, yeah, I can do it. I'll hop on, hop on a, in a taxi and go to wherever. Like I probably would have gone there. You most definitely would have. You probably would have stayed there too. <laughs> Knowing you, <laughs> you probably would have stayed know, there. Do you know what? Everything else but the weed smell, I could have. I would have stayed there. I know. But the weed smell, I couldn't do that. So I ended up giving the guy a bad review. Ended up getting my, actually, I didn't get my money back for that. No. I never did get my money back for that. You probably but, could have though, if you no, I did try. some evidence of. There was no evidence, the place was clean. It was just like, I couldn't be like, oh, it smelled like weed. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a bad but neighborhood. That, like that is, that should be like on there somewhere. It was that one review. No, she said, I don't the know. review said, oh, it wasn't the best neighborhood, but I had a good stay. So I was like, oh, yeah. okay, that's cool. People you know, I can figure that out. People need to be honest in their reviews. Airbnbs support. definitely be honest because people are basing their stay off of those reviews. Yeah. Not only that, to top it all off, when I got to, remember when we had dinner with my buddy a couple of nights in and I told him about the whole experience. He was like, I knew that was going to happen to you. That's why I told you to text me if you needed a place to stay. And I was like, well, now I understand. He's like, yeah, that's not the best part of town. But I didn't want to tell you that. I, I, I gave you a hint, but I wanted you to make your own decision. And I was like, I respect that. That's the reason why I won't do Airbnb again. And I've come across countless experiences where there's been high reviews, but just not... Yeah. Just not good quality places. We stayed in one place in Atlanta that was rated very, very high, but had no heat and we stayed in the basement. Yeah, so it was I remember with, like, freezing cold. That was when I had the food poisoning, wasn't it? I think so. We yeah, asked so, to turn on the heat. And, and also, and yeah, what did she say? I really don't even remember. I, don't I think there was just no heat down there. Do you remember the car we got? We also rented a car and left. Oh, that was my fault. Lens. <laughs> yeah, that was a Turo. Yeah, Turo, I rented a yeah, bad. Yeah. I rented a bad car in a bad side of town, and the car just, was just. But it had. It, it was disgusting. I don't even know what was on the seats. It was disgusting, and <laughs> I kept trying to get in contact with the guy. He said he was home, and it was in front of his house, but he wasn't home. The seat, one of the seats were missing. I said no. <laughs> what did we? Did we leave the car? I then? left the car there and went and got a different one. <laughs> It's just so there's just certain experiences that I I won't do and that's I'll rent I'll create my own Airbnb but I won't rent out an Airbnb and it's getting expensive now it's not what it used yeah, to be Yeah it is you just I feel like you really never know what you're going to get Never know it doesn't matter it could if, be the highest rated place looking really nice and then like you say it could just smell of weed Yeah the only way I'll get an Airbnb is if there's like 10 reviews that verify that everything, every, that 
everything is good. Like when we had the Airbnb here in Bar before we found a place in Barcelona, yeah, everything was good and yeah. it was a really good Airbnb experience. Yeah, it was. Still won't do it again. Mm -hmm. But we had to do that and it was a good Airbnb I think experience. I'm seeing a pattern here. The area that it's in. Think about it, the car was in an area that wasn't that great. Oh, yeah, a sketchy area, yeah. In Georgia. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get it in good areas. Yeah, and then in New York and the ones in Atlanta, it's like yeah, it's always in the bad areas yeah. that so I guess it's just the area that but the you bad need to thing, know, but you don't know that. And that's what I don't like about Airbnb is you don't know what area you're gonna be in. Especially if it's a new like city or a new country that you're going to you don't know if i was traveling to barcelona and didn't know anything about it Ooh, i wouldn't on. know to not be in a specific area like raval or in a specific area in elborn imagine if you end Airbnb. up in raval on the street oh yeah they got some, like, that's a real sketchy street it's a street of it's just known it's just, for drugs and just a lot a king, of things. i don't even know king say it on youtube no i don't know but yeah it's just, just a lot of bad Bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Bad thing. But that's that's what I'm saying. At least in a hotel, you know whether the hotel's in the... If you're not going to get a lot of five-star hotels in a really, really bad area. No. You get what I'm saying? There or four-star like hotels. Three, though. Three-star, which should be nice. But I've seen some three-star hotels like but on even, some streets, and I'm like, why is that here? But even then, it's either on a busy street, so you're cool, yeah, and yeah. they have security. That's why I like to do hotels. It's it's just you know yeah. what you're gonna get. Except for when you travel to Spain, they'll tell you you're gonna get a nice room. Next thing you know, you go into a room that's as big as this table. <laughs> you get very big the size in. you don't know you're gonna get as far as size. I'm, they take it with a wide angle camera, yes. so it looks really big. And then when you get there, you're just like, hmm, hmm. I'm 100% for hotels, Airbnbs. Yeah. I just can't do it, and that is my experience. Everything else with New York was absolutely amazing. We oh my gosh, yes. It was literally the best trip. One time when we talked about Airbnb, a lot of people were saying that they don't do it because a lot of people have cameras, like hidden. Oh, I've heard about that. I've and I didn't know that. that until- I've seen that on videos as well. Were, yeah. yeah weird. You just never know what you, that's why I can't do it. I can't. You don't know what's- And there's a lot of houses- be hiding a camera in a teddy bear. <laughs> but I you had one in like Chicago where you had to stay with some guy the things that I used to do <laughs> I don't know how nothing happened he was the nicest the dude greatest guy. I guess like the reviews were really good but he was really nice but the thing is like he was a lot older mm -hmm. and we had to walk down into a basement See, to get that's what I'm talking to about to get into his apartment and I was alone in his apartment with him it's that's, a crazy that's world the thing. anything could have happened that's the thing I don't understand like I've done so many things, but I've never had any like, yes. oh my gosh, I have one story time that I need to do next time. But yeah, that was, and that was like outside Chicago. Like I had no idea where I was at. I just knew the metro stop, mm -hmm. got off, went to this dude's apartment. See? And then I had my own room, but but the thing is he was really, really polite. No, and that's good. That's good. I like, I, I respect that and all, but you just, I've I seen a lot of movies. Yeah. I've seen a lot of movies where there's really, really polite people that do some really impolite things. So you just never know. Yeah. And I would rather not be put in a situation like that. I wouldn't do that again. put you in a situation like that. I wouldn't like do that. that again. We say we ain't doing it no more. And next time we take a trip around Spain, we're probably gonna end up in an Airbnb. I would do Airbnb. I just wouldn't do it alone again. Like, I just can't with stand it. That's all we got for you guys today. That is our experience with Airbnb. If you guys agree or disagree, let us know in the comment section down below. If you like Airbnb and you're all for it, let us know. That's agreeing to disagree. <laughs> if you guys like the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell and we'll see you guys next time. Hunted a thousand seashells, a million miles from shore. Made my thoughts relax, I never worried about people, knew all those things that I knew.